This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Brinks Model 3020-57 Trailer Lock. Now, most of the trailer locks that I've come across focus on disabling the trailer hitch. The idea is that if the trailer can't be attached to a vehicle, it can't be towed away, and the trailer is secure. This lock, on the other hand, is designed to disable one of the trailer wheels. It operates by wrapping this hooked portion of the red bar around the leaf spring behind one of the trailer wheels. So it's a little bit difficult to install. The end of the bar then is inserted through a hole in the trailer wheel where it's capped off by this 60 millimeter disc padlock. Now, if you didn't quite follow or understand all of that, you're probably not alone. I didn't quite understand how to install this thing until I saw the pictures. And I have one right here. And you can see we have this hooked portion of the bar wrapped around the trailer leaf spring, and then the end proceeds through the wheel where it's capped off by that disc padlock. Now, one thing I noted when I saw this particular picture is the possibility of removing this lock by taking out the bolt that's on the end of the leaf spring. I suppose that would depend on the individual trailer and how much load it was under. And it would also depend on the size of the holes in your particular trailer wheel. Because remember, you would still have to thread this hooked portion of the bar through the wheel for that defeat to work. However, what we are gonna focus on today is what it takes to pick the included disc padlock open. I should note right up front that this is a relatively unusual disc padlock because it is 60 millimeters wide. The overwhelming majority of disc padlocks out on the market are 70 millimeters. You'll see a few 80s and a few 90s, but this is the first and only 60 millimeter lock that I've come across. So let's get this installed on the bar. And then we'll see what we can do to pick this guy open. Okay, let's use some bottom of the keyway tension with a little wiper insert. I think that'll work out. And then hook into that keyway, probably a standard hook in 18 thousandths just to be safe. Okay, one is loose. Two, I got a little click out of. Little click out of three. Something out of four and a big click out of five. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one. Click out of two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four or five. Not sure what's holding us up here. Looks like it's number one. One's binding and it looks like this is open. Uh oh, I lost my tension, but I think we're still able to open this up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it felt like just five standard pins, so I wanna see if we can rake this open. So let's lock this guy back up. Okay, and let's get some tension back in here and try another 18 thousandths pick, let's say this city rake. Okay. Actually having a tough time getting that in the keyway. There we go, but it does open it up. So five standard pins, no surprise that it can be raked open with some ease. However, I do have to say that that's not the end of the story on this lock. The concept, if it does work for your particular trailer, might be salvaged by putting a more secure disc padlock on it, one like for instance, this Avis 2070. It's a little bit on the large side for locking around this bar. However, it does still seem to secure it, even if it is a little on the big side. So if you are thinking that this is a solution that might work for you, you should also consider a slightly more secure disc padlock to go along with it. So that's all I have for you on this Brinks Model 3020-57 Trailer Wheel Lock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, 
Have a nice day. Thank you.